this video will walk you through the process of replacing the display on an iPhone 12 Pro. The process of this repair is almost identical to a screen replacement on an iPhone 12, and while this video can be used as a reference, we still recommend using the guide specific to your device on ifixit.com. For this repair you'll need an eye opener, a set of iFixit opening picks, a suction cup or ice clack, a spudger, some tweezers, some isopropyl alcohol, and the following drivers, a Phillips double zero, a P2 pentalobe, and a Y triple zero. You'll also need your replacement screen, and if they're not pre-installed, a set of replacement display adhesive strips. When replacing your own display, True Tone functionality will be disabled for the new screen, even when using an original Apple part. Before you begin your repair, make sure that your battery has been discharged to below 25%. A charged lithium-ion battery can be a fire hazard if accidentally punctured. To begin, make sure your iPhone is completely powered off, and then using your P2 Pentalobe driver, remove the two screws on the bottom edge of the iPhone. To get the front panel off, we'll need to soften the adhesive holding it in place. Using a prepared eye opener, heat up the bottom edge of the phone. If you don't have an eye opener, a hair dryer or heat gun can be used. Just be very careful, as you run the risk of overheating and damaging your iPhone. For the next few steps, we'll be using an ice clack to separate the front panel from the case. If you don't have an ice clack, check out our step-by-step -step guides for instructions on how to do this procedure with just a suction cup. Once your phone is heated, place the suction cups of the ice clack near the bottom edge of the phone, one on the front side and one on the back. Press the ice clack to engage the suction cups and then close it to begin separating the screen from the iPhone's case. Don't be surprised if your screen doesn't budge the first time you try this. The iPhone screen is glued on tight, but repeated sessions of heating and prying will get the job done. As soon as you see a gap between the screen and the case, insert one of your opening picks into the gap. Don't try and completely remove the screen yet, we're just getting started and this gap is all we need for now. Making sure not to insert your pick more than a few millimeters, slide the inserted opening pick around the left corner and up the left edge of the iPhone, slicing through the adhesive holding the display in place. Once you've made it to the top edge, remove your pick and insert it back into the gap on the bottom edge. Now, we'll repeat our pick sliding along the right edge of the iPhone. With the sides of the display released from adhesive, it's time to turn our attention to the top edge. Slide your pick along the top edge of the display to cut away the adhesive. Swing your display up from the right side like you're opening a book, but be careful, the display is connected to the iPhone's logic board by several fragile cables. Prop your display up at about a 90 degree angle using something like your iPhone's box to hold it in place. Using your Y000 driver, remove the two screws securing the battery and display connector cover. The screws in the iPhone 12 Pro are exceptionally small, so make sure you have an organization system like one of our magnetic mats to keep track of them. Using your tweezers, remove the cable cover and then using the pointed edge of a spudger, disconnect the battery, digitizer, and display cables. Make sure to bend the battery cable back slightly to prevent accidental contact with its connector. Once again, grab your Y000 driver and remove the four screws securing the front sensor connector cover. One of these screws is longer than the others, so make sure to make a note where all the screws came from. Attempting to reinsert the screws in the wrong location can damage your iPhone. Using some tweezers, remove the cable connector cover and then use your spudger to disconnect the front sensor assembly cable connector. Now, the display can lift right off. Before we can install the new display, we first need to remove the speaker and sensor assembly from the back of the old display. To begin, remove the four screws securing it to the back of the display. These screws are different lengths, so make sure to note where each screw came from. We'll want to put them back in the exact same holes. With those screws removed, we can flip the assembly over, making sure not to strain any cables. Using a prepared eye opener, heat up the area around the speaker and sensor assembly to soften the adhesive holding it in place. Use the point of a spudger to lift and separate the ambient light sensor from its notch in the front panel. Continue to use your spudger to pry up the microphone and the proximity sensor and flood illuminator. Make sure all sensor cables are free from the rear panel and then remove the assembly. To install your speaker and sensor assembly on your new display, first begin by reinserting all the sensors including the microphone, the ambient light sensor, and the proximity sensor and flood illuminator. Make sure there's no adhesive blocking the ports of the proximity sensor and flood illuminator. If there are, these sensors can malfunction. Make sure all the cables are lying flat and then fold the sensor assembly back over and reinstall the four screws securing it to the back of the display. 
Reinstall your display adhesive, and then prop your phone up at a 90 degree angle alongside your phone, making sure its cables line up with the connectors on the logic board. Press the front sensor cable into its socket, and then press the cable connector cover over it. Reinstall the four screws that hold it in place, making sure you're installing the screws into the same slots they came from. Press the digitizer cable, display cable, and the battery cables back into their sockets, and then place the cable connector cover in place and reinstall the two Y000 screws. Before you reinstall your display, take a moment to power your phone on and make sure everything is working properly. If everything is working, go ahead and remove your display adhesive backing and reinstall your display by first aligning the display with the clips along the top edge and then carefully pressing the display back into place making sure the clips click easily in place. Lastly, reinstall the two pentalobe screws at the bottom of the phone. 